Hello everyone, this is Jeff at High Fashion Sewing Machines and Quilt Shop. We are doing the second quarter of 2023 So Savvy Reveal. And tonight we're going to go through all the pretty samples we have here, some of the new products that are just in, the new patterns, and of course we're going to go through the, uh, the classes that we're having. We have three classes that are still available here in March of 2023. Then we're going to go to April, May, and June on the classes and show off the pretty samples and what the classes are. But first, I'm going to show my new little kit, my new little bag of goodies. Um, Jana, my shipping gal, thought of this idea and I rolled with it. It is a, uh, I call it the NAB, the needle assortment bag. So you need to nab it up. It has six of my favorite types of needles. I'm going to go through them real quick. You get the little Jeff recommendation card to help you remember what the needles are for. You get a book that is called Know Your Needles. It has the first half is all about sewing machine needles. The second half is about hand sewing needles. And you get six different kinds of needles that will pretty much take care of 90% of your sewing needs. So in a real quick get to go in here is the needle recommendations by Bernina Jeff. So I like Microtex 8012 for regular lightweight woven fabrics like quilting cottons. Uh, I got to work with Nancy Crow up in Gateway, Colorado. She actually likes 7010s for fine cottons in the Microtex. Also in here is a universal pack of 8012s. They're the jack of all trades, but master at none. So a lot of people say, I always keep some universal needles around in case I run out of my favorites. They'll pretty much work. Uh, jeans and denim size 9014. That is for heavy duty sewing. So I never use anything bigger than a size 14 on a domestic machine, just because a bigger needle is harder to push through the fabric. And if you use a triple stitch, which almost all your modern machines have, the triple stitch gives you three layers of normal size thread in that hole. So it won't break the thread. I also like top stitch needles, size 9014 for thick threads, like a size 40 King Tut suggests this. Jersey size 8012, this is for stretchy things so you won't get skips on your knits and things like that. And metallic size 9014 for fussy threads, like metallic thread, rayon threads, threads that are shredding. That's a, a good recommendation. So that's all in the kit. It's a $55 value. I sell it for uh, less than that in the store, I think about 45. So you can come by the store, order it online. I think last quarter I came up with the ultimate uh, maintenance kit. So the ultimate maintenance kit has oil and cleaning things and everything else. So we've been, we sold hundreds of these since last quarter. So those are available too. Three classes we want to promote for March. We have March 22nd. It's a place for everything bag. So this is the bag. It's called a place for everything. It's a buy any bag, I believe. And even has a place for the patterns. So it is kind of like a large, um, lunch box and we carry all the zippers all the hardware the class is 10 to 4 and we have room for it on march 25th we're having a featherweight class this is a class where you bring your featherweight and you get to sew your project on a featherweight i kind of pop in class i might give some hints and tips it's really not anything about how to maintain it but if you're having a tension issue a belt issue or whatever something i can fix quilt quick in class i do that for you on March 30th, there's thread play. This is get to know your threads. So each one of these is a different type of thread. There's metallics, there's thick threads, there's thin threads. And this class helps you take the mystery out of some of your threads. So that class is from 10 to 4. The featherweight class was 10 to 4 also. So now what we usually go into at this point is the, uh, the new uh, newsletter. This is for April, May, and June of 2023. We have our articles, we have our calendar, and I'm going to go through the calendar. And our usual MC is Angie, and she is uh, on vacation, so I get to do the MC of her classes and kind of go through what's going on. So here we go. She gave me a cheat sheet, so I have three pages of cheat sheet. So I get to go through this. 
Oh, and a big shout out and thank you all that voted for my shop, the local quilt shop. We won the state of Colorado for the local quilt shop by uh, the organization and by Annie was the one that we kind of uh, dovetailed on to kind of get everybody's votes. So thank you by Annie. Thank you all you customers out there that voted for me. We actually ended up 14th in the whole world as far as voting. Next year, we're going to go for first place in the United States. So we're going to start a little earlier. So we're going to, we're going to get that. And we won some things that we're going to share with you. We're going to share a trunk show, and we're going to give away the patterns that they're bringing in with the trunk show. So uh, when we have that buy any trunk show, it's not scheduled yet. Uh, it's going to be scheduled maybe summer or uh, fall. And we will basically do drawings. Well, you, if you come watch the trunk, look at the trunk show, put your ticket in there and we'll pull out your ticket for all these prizes. Need not present to win. So I have Angie's class thing here so we're going to start right on. Saturday April 1st is the bag bag. So this is a highly modified project bag from Biani. It's designed to hold all your bag making tools. So you get it? The bag making bag. It has a place for your circle templates, your zipper jig, your lighter. What do you need a lighter for? Turning tools, bodkin, basic tools, uh, all the things that you use to make your buy any bags. As you can tell, we are a big fan of buy any. So uh, I think this is the sample. Mm -hmm. Is that cool? So it's something you can put into your to-go bag. And again, your to-go bag can be something as simple as a little roller uh, suitcase. Uh, there's some really cool tool uh, roller bags that you can get at Lowe's or uh, Home Depot. I mean, there's just a place to make all your little bag parts there. If I keep up this, we won't get through with the rest of the thing. So I'm going to start uh, trimming it down. Hope I got your attention. And you know, this is on YouTube. Every minute you watch helps my YouTube rating. So watch it all the way to the end because, you know, you might really find something you really can't live without. All right. So I'm going to skip around because there are, uh, or should I just do it? Should I say, okay, now, Monday, April 3rd is Snapshot Bag. Who's doing Snapshot Bag? Angie. Angie. So that's right here on my list, too. This is one of by Annie's newest patterns. It's a Snapshot Bag. It comes in two sizes. Uh, this is the small one. It can be used for a pur as a purse, but also holds a thread stand for easy transport to classes, uh, safe storage for things that you want to go to class with. So we have Snapshot. And this is what it looks like. You'll need, uh, we have room in the class, so you'll need the pattern and everything else to sign up. Then we have April 4th, and it is block of the month. That's not this one, but that's okay. This All right. All right. This is, we're going to go to uh, April 5th. This is pan flower. And pan flower is fan. Fan. Yeah. There we go. Like we're hot. Fan <laughs> flower. And that's Wednesday, April 10, April 5th, 10 to 4. Okay. All right. So now I get it. We're skipping the basic stuff. We're I jumping right in. Basic. Okay. So which one is this? Boundless. Boundless. It is Monday, April 10th, 10 to 4. And Boundless, I have a little thing here. Okay. Uh, this quilt has lots of room to show off your beautiful quilting. The same basic quilt blocks are repeated, making this project that doesn't require too much brain power. Hoffman Batiks are beautiful, and we have kits available in this colorway. So because of all the open space, you can really show off the newest line quilting you've learned, mm -hmm. which I've learned it and forgot it. <laughs> all right. This one is, what's the date on it? The date is Thursday, April the 13th. Okay. Um, we're always getting questions on what to do with 10-inch pre-cuts and 
Oh, I'm, we're always getting questions on the 10 inch pre-cuts and this is done with that. Um, this little book that we have, it not only covers this quilt, but it covers several others using those. And so it was very quick. It's a very simple pattern. Um, you just have to be intermediate level. Beginners could also do it. We, I'm happy to work with them. So love to see you come. It was Thursday, April 13th. 10 to 4. Yep. Okay. We're talk about and then we missed one. Bag workout. Is that just like a working time for? Open okay. Your bags. All right. Any buy any bag you need help with. Any buy any bag you need help with, you can come to that bag workout. So now what's the date on this one? This one is Monday. Monday, April 17th. It's from 10 to 4. This is one of Lynn's classes. It's by Leela Boutique. We have kits and pattern available, and um, it is absolutely just lovely quilt. And it's called? This is Haven. Haven Quilt, 10 mm -hmm. to 4. Uh-huh. All right. And this is me. Oh, sorry, can't get hold of it. All right, this is a spiky quilt. This is a Cheryl Phillips design, and it's using a squedge ruler. So Cheryl Phillips is always great. You just have to follow her directions, and they come out beautiful. So this is one of my calendar club classes, and it is Wednesday, April nineteenth, from ten to four. We talk about you. Yep. So, album quilt embroidery is a monthly class. You bring in um, your designs for album quilts. I have several choices. This is sincerely yours, and it is more of an intermediate advanced class. It's multi hooping. I also have uh, kits. This one here is Spring Sprouts, and I have a kit for it. This is a beginner. I also have another one for beginners. So every skill level um, is included in the class. So if you want to come in and work on your machine embroidery. And you're learning rehooping? This is a multi-hooping, yeah. That's a good one to learn. Okay, what was the date on that one again? Um, I have Multiple April days. 20th, May 18th, and June 8th, and you can go um, any of those months or all. Good. And let's back up here a second. Uh, we have more. We have more fashionable featherweight classes, April 18th, May 8th, or June 20th. These are a chance again to come and sew with your featherweight uh, again. So that's four chances. You might pick up some tips. Next. All right, page two on Angie's list. Oh, that could be a All right, we have on April 21st an all day off site open sew at Chapita Golf Course Clubhouse. This includes lunch and snap, snacks. Angie and Lorraine will be there for advice on projects and stuff. It's a great time to get out there and have some fun with some friends and uh, hang out for a whole day of sewing. Then on April 25th, we have Patchwork Garden Mug Rugs. And who gets to talk about these? Me? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All inclusive kits are available in six different styles. The sample is one of them. The sample is one of them. The others are in progress. You can work on as many rug mug kits during class as you'd like. Kits are a bit pricey, but they include everything. All the fabric, batting, backing, binding, and all the best stuff. Pre-fused laser cut applique pieces too. It's so worth it. Uh, what happened, what appears to be a, a pieced block is really applique and blanket stitched with a matching thread. All right. What do we have coming next? Flowers for May is on my list, but that's in May already. Yeah. We have the other stuff. Are not on Angie's list. We're still yeah. in April. All right. So I'm um, embroidery workshop. 
Um, we have April 27th, May 25th, and June 22nd. Um, this one is Microwave Bowl Buddies. It's all in the hoop. Uh, and you're going to complete this in class. We'll probably do several. I'm going to teach you how to do custom writing. These are the designs that come with it. And I also, if you do not have machine embroidery, I have a little pattern that's for uh, your home sewing. And this one is for uh, new embroiderers, new machine owners, and... Um, it's for three months and so I provide the kits and threads and stabilizers uh, to just give you a tutorial on getting you to do your machine embroidery. All right we have ruler work 101. This is our camera girls. Learn how to use your Lear rulers. Learn how to use your rulers. So this is Friday April 28th 2 to 4. You have to have a uh, ruler foot and rulers and certain prerequisites. So Trista will guide you through the tricks and tips of the basics of ruler work. Being 101, this is something from the beginning. From the beginning, and then this is like a step two skill building. Yep. Step two would be Saturday, April 29th, 9.30 to 1.30, and it goes to the next step of ruler work. Mm-hmm. Sure. Here we go with this is, with with this is flowers for Mary. This this is another one of Angie's classes. It is um, let's see Tuesday May second. This is a three day class. She's going to do this on May the second, May the ninth, May the sixteenth. She's going to you're going to do the blocks in the first two classes and you're going to assemble it in the third one. This, I, I put this together, it really takes very little time, it's big pieces, so it's great, a great skill builder for people that have already been quilting, and it's great for beginners to learn. So come and join Angie, it'll be a great time. Thank you. All right, this is one of Angie's little specialty things. Uh, she's in the Star Wars, Star Trek, and such. So this is called X-Wing Fighter, and it is oh, May the Fourth. May the Fourth be with you. <laughs> 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, it's Star Wars Day. Just a fun little quilt, big pieces. Uh, get together and just have a blast. Uncle Oh, and this little R2 unit has a bad motivator. <laughs> All right, now we have Sidekick. It's Saturday, May 6th, 930, 8, 9.30 to 3.30. This is a cute bag. Uh, this is the other brand new Biani pattern. This is a saddle style bag desired to go, designed to go over the arm of a chair, lawn chair, walker, mobility device. Keeps all your essentials handy. So something that uh, you got somebody that needs a little carry bag on their walker then this would be a good gift for them and yes we do still sew clothes here <laughs> and here you go um, yes we do get often people asking if we're gonna do any garment classes and so I was gonna be sewing my own summer tops anyway I'm using this uh, very simple uh, pattern called Bondi and I've just worked up a couple of them. It is a beginning garment. So if you've never, you know, experienced sewing any kind of garments, we're gonna go through reading patterns, measuring how to do alteration a little bit. And we're gonna use um, any cotton or the wovens just to make it easy for you. And it looks like the pattern's fairly forgiving. Probably the toughest part's the binding. Yeah. Not really? Good. All right. Angie has one called Quilting with Your Walking Foot. This has been one of the favorites for a staple for a couple of years now. It gets filled and refilled and overfilled, so we keep doing this one. 
the walking foot's a really cool, this gets me into the Jeff thing. It's a device that actually walks over layers of fabric and keeps them very well even. Like they started doing this for plaids back in garment sewing time. This walking foot kept your plaids even. Then they found it really worked good for quilting and binding and things like that. So Angie walks you through the book and quilting with your walking foot. And it's a two day class. It's uh, not for the faint of heart. She uh, gets you to do quite a few samples and projects. You I mean, you will do this whole book full of samples. So um, you learn a ton. Next. Okay, this is another one of Lynn's classes. It is called Sun Showers. Oh, cool. It is, uh, it's an advanced beginner. Its time is, it's Monday, May the 15th, 10 to 4. And um, this one we have, we have Fat Eights bundles and the pattern. And it is by Leela Boutique. It's just a beautiful little quilt. Look at those little birdies. Yep. Look at the back. Birdies all over it. <laughs> all right, who is next? I am next. All right. I was looking for a sign. Sorry. Here's your sign. All right, this is um, May Calendar Club. This is a, sorry, I, the microphone went away. Uh, this is a nine patch twist pattern and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's very easy to do and you're just using a charm pack and some background fabric and should be one we can get done in a day. Yeah, cool thing. You did that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> very pretty. All right. All right. We have, I think, is this a serger project? Yeah. All right. So that means probably Trist is going to be involved in it. This is a class for uh, working with your serger. It's Saturday, May 20th, 930 to 130. And it is this wonderful little uh, bag. And we did it dovetailing in. I mean, this is something cute for her little boys. And we dovetail it into a class by Angie later. But look at this. you got to do a zipper and everything else with this, all in the serger applications. So good time to learn those serger feet you have sitting in the drawer and uh, dust off those fancy sergers. Good job. Now, Angie has one here called Dinosaur Backpack. It's May 22nd. This is a cute little thing. It actually is printed on a panel. So all these little pieces are pre-printed for you. You even have instruction page. And it comes with a bonus little stuffed pillow. Stuffy. So we got stuffy oh, and the mouth, the mouth is the zipper. There's a thing in there. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> kind of like those uh, Muppets, you know. <laughs> yeah. Ubula. He's hungry. All right. <laughs> there you go. We have uh, another class, and this is new to us, and it's called IQ Designer with your Designer Series book, and it's a commitment, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let Julie go the rest of this through. Uh, so this kind of was launched because Baby Lock came out with this IQ Mastery book in December. And I jumped on it because I want to uh, learn my IQ designer on my machine. Uh, it was my personal New Year's resolution to learn IQ in 2023. So we are going to go through the book step by step, learn the different uh, icons and doing these little techniques so you can master your machine and go on to other projects. All right. Who's doing the dinosaur activity book? You. Angie. All right. So this is June 1st, uh, June 1st, 9.30 to 12.30. This is a pre-cut panel again, right? Mm -hmm. And we're just going to have fun cutting out and sewing together. It's just a fun time. It all kind of goes together. We have the serger bag, we have the backpack, and we have this. So really cute little time to hang out with some friends. All right. Now we have another one that I get to finish. This is the BSR. Well, 
What does BSR really mean? It means Bernina Stitch Regulator. And Bernina Stitch Regulator Practice Panel, this gives you the opportunity to, to bond with your stitch regulator and learn how it works, tips, techniques. The whole reason Angie is such a Bernina girl is the stitch regulator when she got her 440. And this was a long time ago. This was 2005. So she's been using the stitch regulator a long time. And uh, if you're needing to learn the master it, she's the one to go to. Now we have some June 7th. All right, that's me. I'm going to get picked up here. All right, this is my June calendar club. It's a fun little uh, table runner that's a quilt as you go, so that when we're done making it, it's quilted, and all you have to do is put binding on. And you'll have it all ready for your 4th of July table. That was that was wasn't much to say about that. <laughs> oh, it's you. So, what Friday, June 9th? Want me to take over the camera? We're going to uh, practice free motion quilting. How to hold your hands, get different sizes. Um, really practice the basics. Um, with free motion quilting. We'll do several different techniques. We're going to do some pebbling, some feathers, and we break it down real simple. You'll be able to stitch one before you leave. Stippling without a pattern. Yeah. Very good. Yes, gives it's you all, confidence. It's all curves and points. Okay. I like this teamwork. All right, we have another class from Lynn, and this one is called Ombre Fall Breeze. It is June the 12th, 10 to 4. Um, we have kit and pattern. You will pick out your background, so you don't necessarily have to have a dark background, but um, done with these ombre ombre fabrics is just absolutely gorgeous and she made the remark she said you're doing it in June so it should be in t done in time for fall so that'll be fun come and join her okay all right who's gonna embellish all the new fabrics that we've received and where are we gonna start all right Block of the months. All right, I need some help. I'm running uh, on empty here on <laughs> ideas. You want to do new and then we'll get the block of the month. Okay. All right, here we go. So the new fabric, I'll just let you hold that for a second. The new fabric we have, this great new panel, um, the eagle with the, the flag on his wings. We think it's fabulous. And uh, some fabrics that go with it. And then we have some other new fabrics here. The Word search, word search fabric, and then this one here has puzzle pieces. We really need to be pretty close to this for oh, it to okay. pick up. All right, so these are some of the new block of the months. Angie's not here, so we're unfortunately kind of guessing on some of these. <laughs> um, we have interested lists on most of these. So if you see something you like, give us a call. We can put you on the interested list, and then we would call you back when we have the information how long it's going to last, how much per month and stuff. So we have Lockwood Manor. We have Blissful. We have one called Daydream Garden. We have these which are a year of art. So these are going to be four seasons worth of projects. There's three projects and four seasons. So a total of 12 different projects. I do not know if Angie's going to have you commit to all, sorry, the cord got there. I don't know if Angie's going to have you quick commit to all four seasons. I'm not sure how that's going to go. And then we have Berry Vine, Berry Vine Wreath. Oh, that's really pretty. And then we have one called Prism, which we have the top done on it over here. I'm guessing that's a Jason Yenter fabric. It looks like it. 
Man, that's a beautiful block of the month. It is. In the beginning it fabric. Looks like stained glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. And then we have our Crazy Sister. This is just one of the samples. Crazy Sister, I believe, has seven projects this time. Um, so we do have some of the other samples hanging up in the front of the store, and this is just one of them. Um, and so Crazy Sister is also a block of the month. We're walking about. All right. Taking a walk now. Getting over to the other new fabrics here. Okay. Give me the default. It. <laughs> okay, so yes, it's new Halloween fabric. It's given us time to get those projects done in time. So this is brand new out actually this week. Um, we also have some pre cuts that are. Um, different seasonal items. We have some fruits, which are the lemons and oranges and the coordinates with those. We have several new patterns and books. Here, flip that. Mm -hmm. Flip the fabric. Like, you, you know, Angie thumbs it so you can see the different. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Cute. Look at those turtles. Super fun. Thank you. And these are new. Um, we do have in the store now for stock an OSD iron off pencils. So if you're needing to mark your different quilts, uh, we just got this one in. We also have the By Annie's double sided basting tape. And it looks it's like brand. about an eighth inch. Mm -hmm. Brand new product. And <laughs> all right, so this is a uh, class I just got done with, but I didn't have the fabric out on the floor. So we did just put the fabric out on the floor. I do still have two kits available. Um, and then there was a different panel that came with it also that has not been out on the floor yet. So um, a cute panel to be able to do placemats or anything like that with did it. Did you so quilt that butterfly? I did. I, I have a stencil on that one. It's not just, that one's not just in my head. So anyway, so those fabrics are basically brand new even though I did just do a class on them. We have some other new flower, flowers, fabrics here, uh, Sunflower Sweet, and sorry, I'm looking, through, I can't find the name of the other one, Fanciful Flight. So we have Sunflower Sweet and Fanciful Flight, and these are new fabrics we have up here. And the uh, Charm Packs, or I'm sorry, Layer Cake, 10 inch squares. I don't flick very well, sorry. Thank you, Angie's nails help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know of anything else. All right. So we are filming this on Thursday evening. I will try to get it uploaded Thursday night. So Friday you can look at it on the YouTube. We will have it available to peruse through on Friday. So please feel free to come through, pick up items, whatever you like, sign up for classes. Saturday we start putting it away in the store. So you'll have to figure out where we decided to, to stash it. So. Um, anything else we need to cover? Thank you again. I'm glad you made it to this part of the video. And uh, come on by and help us out. Thanks.